that means like if you like were these kids out there like shuffling like I'm gonna find them all people. Well, didn't you do that as a child? Try to dig. Yes, you did. I'm and, your and brother. I'm a ch- ch- <laughs> to China. You don't dig to the mole people. I'm Nevin Warner, and I'm Brandon Warner, and this is Laughing Historically. So, Brandon, you know a lot about John Quincy Adams? Uh, I know a little bit about John Quincy Adams. Do you know anything about Hollow Earth Theory? Oh, I know a lot <laughs> about Hollow Earth Theory. Nevin, you're in my zone now. You're in the zone of fringe history. John Quincy Adams is the son of John Adams. He grew up during the American Revolutionary period, so, you know, he has very enlightened thought. Um, But interesting facts, he had a pet alligator. A pet alligator? What was the alligator's name? I I really, I don't know the name. (laughs) 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 He also had silkworms. He, like, raised them. And his wife spun, like, cloth out of the silk that the worms... Okay. Oh, you know what's really interesting? He actually, in the morning, he used to go skinny dipping in the Potomac. With his alligator? <laughs> Maybe the, <laughs> I was freaking so many people out. He had this strange presidency because early-ish type 1800s, so mm-hmm. it was a transitional period for the United States. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, he believed in this theory called, like you said, the hollow earth theory. Hollow earth theory, yes. It was proposed by uh, this guy named John Cleve Sims. You can actually say that hollow earth theory goes back to the theories of hell and Hades and there being a world underneath the world. Uh, also, Edmund Haley, who we think of the comet guy, Edmund Haley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Haley's comet. He also... <laughs> you got it now. <laughs> you got it clicked for a second. He was one of the first scientists to seriously propose it. And then around the John Quincy Adams times, it started to gain a lot. And this guy, John Sims, like, yeah. put, like put it all Sims together. Sims was crazy about it. It, well, he's from New Jersey. <laughs> According to him, the Earth was, like you said, a hollow thing in the middle. Mm-hmm. Which, like, nowadays you think of, like, you know, like, the mantle, the, you know, there's, there's things inside the earth. Yeah, he thought it was a hollow shell with a little sun inside. He thought there was, like, water and land. Mm-hmm. And when Adams heard this theory, he immediately believed it. Yeah, well, it was, we think it's ridiculous now, but it it was pure science back then. They really thought the world was hollow. He believed that there were these things down there, but there also were, like, people down there, too. The mole people? So Adams thought all this was true. The President of the United States, who owned an alligator, <laughs> and, and was skidiffing the atomic, believed in the mole people. <laughs> believed in mole people. And he wanted to trade with them. <laughs> What would you trade with a mole person? I, like, I guess, like, made the silk cloth that <laughs> was fun from the silkworms? Well, they actually thought th- that maybe the mole people were remnants of Atlantis. Are you serious? Yes. Who believed this? Well, it's the 1800s. They <laughs> believed a lot of things. This is awful. Well, this is the worst theory I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> so, so he believed this, and he funded it. He funded yeah. a voyage to go visit these mole people. Yeah, it, that was one of the last things he did in his presidency, right? Was yeah. fund the mole people expedition. Now, guess where he thought the entrance was? They were at the poles. Yeah, the, the poles. It's like where Santa Claus mm-hmm. lives. And the holes <laughs> were supposed to be 1,400 miles across. Like that big? Yeah, like that big. Um, <laughs> that didn't happen, obviously. Well, do you know why it didn't happen? J- Adam, uh, Andrew Jackson said this is ridiculous. Andrew Jackson. <laughs> it's it. his first day on the job. He gets all of his new papers. And like, here's the things Number we're one, destroy the bank. <laughs> Number two, get rid of the mole people. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got a hold of the theory and he's like, what is this? And he saw this money going towards... He's like, I'm not doing this crap. I'm going to go duel someone. He shut it all down. Was, this whole thing about like, you know, the journey to the center of the earth was mm-hmm. published. And- Ladies and gentlemen, this is James Mason. Come along with Pat Boone and me and Gertrude the Duck and discover sights and sounds and wonders no living man has ever witnessed before. It became a big 
piece of our culture and our counterculture that the earth is hollow. There's still people today, there's a contingent of people today that still believe that the earth is hollow. Uh, there's a group of people that believe that you are Scientologists? Not... Not all, <laughs> not all of them, but they believe that like UFOs come from the center of the Earth. So, We've tried to find out what's in the middle of the Earth a couple times. Yeah, many to try times. to get down there. One thing that might that's less lesser known because we all know about the space race of the nineteen sixties and seventies. Yeah, there was a opposite space race that in going down. Yes, exactly. <laughs> where the Russians and, Amer and Americans were also racing to get the deepest. The Russians dug the deepest hole in the history of the world. It goes down um, miles like and miles deep and into miles. the mantle. They they didn't hit the mantle. They got about a third of the way to the mantle before the the drill got too Pretty hot. Deep. Yeah, and the Americans did a little bit smarter way. They dug in the ocean so that they would have to uh, go through yeah. water. The, around the same time, there was a um, there was a leak sort of thing in weekly worldwide news, the tabloids, that the Russians dug so far that they got to hell. The Russians are in hell. It Just like Doom, the video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the thing shooting things at them. Yes. Like Russians like, ah! I, I, I just can't believe that this theory even existed. I, don't know, I, I said before, I think it's absolutely... Yes, that's what happens when you go into my world of fringe history.